Hey guys, this is just a video on a tutorial on how to do like a kind of dramatic spunky eye using colors brown, which are like neutrals. I've already done like face primer and foundation and cover up, so I'm just going to show you what I used. I don't really have my cover up in here, but I used this face powder from I think I just mixed these two together here. This is my face brush. And I have this coral brush on. Blush on. This one right there. So, yeah, I already did one eye. So, this is the look you're going to have. Right here. Ah, my okay. This one. Which is that. Okay, so let's get started. You're going to want a base color. So, I'm going to use coming out anyway so I'm gonna use this white and this light pink brown kind of mixed together. I'm just gonna apply the base of my finger because I find it works better. So there you have your base color, which is very light. Now I'm going to pick up my Cabela brush, which is a trace brush, and it looks like that. It's angled, so it's good. It's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to take. I'm going to take. A lighter brown first. And what you really want to do is kind of like pat, pat it on. Like just into your crease. Pat it in for the color it like sticks. Then I'm going to take a more shimmery gold color to reflect the color in my eyes. And now I'm going to do just one more brown. It's going to be darker. And it's my makeup. Make it Bella. My Mary Kay eyeshadow and it's in granite. Let's get in my palette. So it looks like it's like has like it's brown but it's like flex. Uh, see if you can see it. Flex the gray in it. Okay, so there are the eyeshadows done. And now you're gonna do a black eyeliner. This is an old eyeliner. I don't know what it's called, but this is by Washes. It's black and sparkly. And you're just gonna do kind of not complete all around the cat eye, but you're gonna miss the inner corner of your eye. So, try to avoid stretching the skin because just later on it just adds wrinkles to your face.
then I'm going to start with that same, like, kind of, that base color that I used. And kind of put it on top of, uh, just on top of my eyeliner. I think it just looks better because it doesn't look as dark. Just on like not on the outside corner because that's the dramatic part of it. Cause that's the part that you see the most because when you once you blink and you're getting people leaks down your eyes. So and then you're going to put mascara on, which is this is Miss Dems from Paris. I don't think anybody in America can get it. If you can, please comment about it because I'd like to get more of this. And bottom, just to like overcome the motion, like don't touch your skin or that's how you get it messed up. Then you're going to take the white eyeliner. This is a red girl eyeliner, and I like this one like more than any other white eyeliner I've had, and it's like dollar store stuff. I got from Dollar it's Red Girl. And you just want to take this and put it in the inner corner of your eye, which highlights and brightens the color. Makes you look more awake. So there's the eyes, which I really like, but I think it's a little bit too much, but because I have to do this in the morning, it takes a quite a bit. And then you're going to finish off, I think it's in my drawer, with a lipstick. And for this particular look, I'm going to do a lighter lipstick because the eyes are really dramatic and you don't want to like draw too much attention to your lips because it's your eyes you're supposed to notice. So I'm using Angel by MAC. It's just a light pink and it's a frost. So it's not like really high gloss, or whatever. So. And then. Optional, but you can finish with a gloss of your choice. Probably one that lighter that kind of matches the lipstick. So I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna use the little eyeshadow the gloss that comes with the little palette, side up palette for my thing, and. And I'm just going to repeat some of the products I used. So I used a red girl wet eyeliner, Borshell Black Eyeliner, Miss Dan's Eyelash Booster, Mascara, this icing palette, this other icing palette. Which is pretty cute. This is like 12 bucks, maybe I'm all this way. And I also used the granite by, by Mary Kay. So, yeah, that's the tutorial to a smoky eye. And this is actually really good for blue eyes because it makes your eyes pop. So, yeah. Bye till next time. See ya.